Dear Congregation, In the bustling noise of the world, amidst the chaos and distractions, there exists a still, small voice, the voice of God. Today, we embark on a journey to discover how to attune our hearts and minds to hear God's voice, to discern His guidance, and to experience His presence in our lives. Psalm chapter 46 verse 10. Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations, I will be exalted in the earth. Cultivating spiritual awareness begins with opening our hearts to God's presence. Through stillness and silence, we create space to listen attentively, allowing God to speak to us in the depths of our souls. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3. Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Engage in prayer as a conversation with God. Share your heart openly and honestly, and then listen for his response. Prayer is not merely a monologue but a dialogue, a sacred exchange where we commune with the divine. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 17. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Immerse yourself in scripture, for it is God's written word. As you study the Bible, listen for God's voice speaking through its pages. Allow his timeless truths to illuminate your path and guide your steps. 1 John chapter 4 verse 1. Dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Discerning God's voice requires wisdom and discernment. Test the spirits to ensure they align with the character of God and the teachings of Scripture. God's voice will always lead us closer to Him and deeper into His truth. Psalm chapter 19 verse 1. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of His hands. Pay attention to God's signs and wonders in the world around you. From the beauty of creation to the serendipitous encounters in daily life, God speaks to us through his creation and orchestrates divine appointments to reveal himself to us. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 14. For lack of guidance a nation falls, but victory is won through many advisors. Seek confirmation from trusted spiritual mentors and community members. Share your experiences and seek wise counsel to discern God's voice more clearly. In the multitude of counsel, find affirmation and confirmation of God's letting. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Surrender to God's will with trust and humility. Release control and submit to his divine plan, knowing that his ways are higher than ours. As we surrender, God leads us on paths of righteousness and purpose. Psalm chapter 62 verse 5. Yes, my soul, find rest in God. My hope comes from Him. Embrace moments of silence as sacred opportunities to encounter God. In the stillness, allow your soul to find rest and your spirit to be rejuvenated. It is often in the quietude of our hearts that God's voice speaks loudest, comforting us and imparting wisdom. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 18. Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Practice gratitude as a spiritual discipline, acknowledging God's blessings in your life. As you express thankfulness for even the smallest blessings, you cultivate a heart that is attuned to God's presence and provision. Gratitude opens your eyes to see God's hand at work in every aspect of your life. John chapter 14 verse 23. Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Honor God with obedience by responding faithfully to His voice. As you hear God's guidance, be willing to follow where He leads, trusting in His wisdom and goodness. Obedience is an expression of love for God and invites His presence to dwell richly within you. Luke chapter 18 verse 1. Then Jesus told His disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Persevere in prayer with steadfast faith, trusting that God hears and answers your prayers. Even in moments of doubt or discouragement, continue to seek God's presence through prayer, knowing that He is attentive to the cries of His children. Through persistent prayer, you draw nearer to God and deepen your relationship with Him. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. And without faith it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Walk in faith, believing in God's promises and trusting in His faithfulness. Step out boldly in obedience to His word knowing that God rewards those who earnestly seek Him. As you journey in faith, you will experience the abundant blessings of God's presence and provision. 1 John chapter 4 verse 7. 
Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Share God's love with others, being a vessel of His grace and compassion in the world. As you hear God's voice and experience His love, extend that same love to those around you, demonstrating the transformative power of God's presence in your life. Through acts of kindness and love, you reflect God's character to a world in need of His redeeming love. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 14 The person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God but considers them foolishness, and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the Spirit. Cultivate spiritual discernment to recognize God's voice amidst the noise of the world. Allow the Holy Spirit to guide your heart and mind, helping you discern between God's voice and the distractions of the enemy. As you deepen your spiritual discernment, you become more attuned to the gentle whispers of God's leading in your life. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Surrender control to God's sovereign will, trusting in His perfect plan for your life. Release the need to understand every detail and outcome, and instead, place your faith in the wisdom and goodness of God. As you surrender to His guidance, He will direct your steps and lead you along paths of righteousness. Psalm chapter 46 verse 10. He says, Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations, I will be exalted in the earth. Cultivate a listening heart by practicing stillness and attentiveness in God's presence. Set aside time each day to quiet your mind and listen for God's whispers of love and guidance. As you tune your heart to His voice, you will discover the depth of His love and the wisdom of His counsel. 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16-17 all scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Seek confirmation of God's voice through His Word, the Bible. Allow scripture to be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path, illuminating God's will and purposes for your life. As you align your thoughts and decisions with the truth of God's Word, you will find clarity and assurance in discerning His voice. Psalm chapter 27 verse 14 Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Practice patience as you wait upon God's timing and direction. Trust that His plans are perfect, even when they seem delayed or different from your own expectations. As you wait expectantly upon the Lord, He will renew your strength and lead you into His perfect will for your life. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 14. For lack of guidance a nation falls, but victory is won through many advisors. Seek wise counsel from godly mentors and spiritual leaders who can offer discernment and perspective on God's leading in your life. Surround yourself with people who are grounded in faith and wisdom, and seek their insights as you navigate the journey of hearing God's voice. Through their guidance, you will gain clarity and confidence in discerning God's will. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21. Whether you turn to the right or to the left, your ears will hear a voice behind you, saying, This is the way. Walk in it. Walk in obedience to God's call, responding promptly and wholeheartedly to His letting. Trust that God's voice will guide you along the path of righteousness and blessing, and be willing to step out in faith wherever He may lead. As you walk in obedience, you will experience the fullness of God's presence and provision in your life. Beloved congregation, as we conclude this sermon, may you continue to seek God's voice and presence in your life with renewed zeal and passion. Through the practices of prayer, gratitude, obedience, perseverance, faith, and love, may you draw ever closer to the heart of God and experience the fullness of His blessings. May you walk in the assurance that God is near, speaking to you in whispers of love and guidance, leading you on paths of righteousness and blessing. May His presence be your constant companion, and may you find joy and fulfillment in the journey of hearing and obeying His voice. Amen.